Okay. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are Hello, you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay, good. Ready? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Okay, good. That's nice. So, No lo oigo. No oigo. Y estas cosas se, 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 se entienden. Okay, so we're going to get started today with uh, a little repetition, a review of the video about how is it going, right? No, sí. Okay, so here we go. Quiero ver. Okay, so this is the video that that we, the, we couldn't watch last night. Okay, so today we have this one. And then we have a yes, no questions, right? The, the last practice we had was about using a yes, no questions and short answers with B. This one. Participants will be able to make yes-no questions and give short answers with B. Yes-no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb B will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes, he is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no, he's not, or no, he isn't. No, they're not, or no, they aren't.
When answering in affirmative, you have to always direct plus complement plus yes, okay. I am. So basically, this is the the summary, right? What what is probably the base of the yes no question, right? You have are you free? You can answer yes, I am with the short answers, right? Or no, I'm not, if it is negative. The affirmative the short answer has no contraction, okay? For example, yes, I am, yes, he is, yes, it is, yes, we are, and yes, they are. No contraction, okay? Affirmative short answer. In the negative short answer, yes, you have uh, two forms. Uh, just for no, I'm not, it's only one, no, I'm not. Then you can say no, he's not, or no, he is. The two forms are correct. No, it's not. They say, no, it isn't. No, we're not. No, we aren't. No, they're not. And no, they aren't. The first one, no, I'm not. No, it's not. No, it's not. This one sounds more emphatic, okay? This one sounds a little bit stronger. They say, for example, uh, uh, are you free? No, I'm not. Okay, no, I'm not. Uh, when you say, no, he's not. Uh, is he your friend? No, he's not. Okay, or no, he isn't. Sometimes the, the first one will sound with a little more emphasis. And that is the difference. But the two forms are correct. Okay, so this is the, the structure for the yes, no questions and short answers. Then in the next one we have, and this lesson participants will be able to read an article and to answer some comprehension questions, right? So then there is a reading section, okay, which is this one. And we're going to check it here. Okay, now we can close this one here and we can zoom the image. Okay, so this one is what is in a name? Okay, what is in a name? Say, so look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Okay, they say that sometimes names can reflect the personality of a person, right? Uh, but that depends on the, on the language, on the country, and the beliefs, las creencias y culturas, right, also. Because you say uh, uh, your name is very important, here, your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Okay, so this depends uh, sometimes on the, uh, probably the, the tendency, the tendency of the moment, right? Uh, sometimes there are some uh, famous soccer players and the people decide to use the names of the soccer players for their babies, right? Or I don't know if there is an artist, an actress, if it is a girl, then uh, some parents decide to give that name to that, uh, let's say to that girl or boy. So then there are sometimes tendencies. In other cases, it's just uh, they give the name of the mother or the name of the father, right? They continue with the, with the tradition, right? 
if my name is Luis, my son is Luis, and then his first son is going to be Luis and like that, right? So that is uh, probably a, a tendency, also a tradition in the family, okay? It depends. Now, names can become popular. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV, or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names here. Uh, about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Voice names, George, Jacob, Michael, and Stanley. And these are the probably some uh, features of the personality. Average, boring. Creative, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. Betty, old fashioned and average. Emily, independent and adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Uh, Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. Okay, questions in this moment? Or in this part? About vocabulary, expressions, uh, comments, they want to make a comment. Uh, what is the meaning for average? Uh, promedio, right? This is an average. It's a person that is a standard, right? It's in the middle, not low, not high. Okay, what else? What's the meaning of surprisingly? Okay, this is, for example, when you say sorprendentemente, right? It says surprisingly, people generally agree on the way we feel about names. I don't know. Okay. For example, Richard, the meaning of, of nerdy. Nerdy is a person who is intelligent and studies a lot. Okay, it's a person that usually it's like a nerdo, right? That we say in Spanish, that likes to study and is always doing reading and know a lot of things. That's a nerdy. Nerdy. Mm -hmm. What else? What is the meaning of plain? Plain. Yeah. Plain is a, it's a person that has no, uh, how can I say, sobrio, right? In this case, that is not so, not too much makeup, no sobresale mucho, right? It's sobrio, plain. Survive in Cuesta. Survey. Survey. Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. That's a survey. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, so then that's the end the names, characteristics. For example, they say that the name of las personas con nombre Jorge son promedio y aburridos. George. Okay, but this is, remember, this is in English, right? Probably in Spanish can be a little bit different, right? Uh, Jacob, uh, probably Jacob sería como Jacobo, right, in Spanish. He says creativo y amigable, right? Creative and friendly. Los Michaels, los que se llaman Miguel, son good looking, this, simpáticos, right? And athletic, okay? And then Stanley's, so it's nerdy and serious. 
que así como muy estudioso. And serious, serio, right? The girl's name is Betty. Uh, very old fashioned. Así como un poco de qué? A la antiquada sería, right? Old fashioned. Yes, that's the word in Spanish. Average is promedio, right? And then we said uh, independent, Emily, independent and adventurous. Jane, plain and ordinary. El Jane creo que sería como Juana, right? Yes, I think that's the one, Jane. So that would be like una persona que es sobria y ordinaria, right? And Nicole is a beautiful and intelligent. These are some characteristics. Okay. Uh, and that's what it says here. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Okay, cuando eh, si alguien le ponen, por ejemplo, en estos días, Lionel, ah, Lionel Messi, right? Entonces, ya, eh, there is something positive, right? Or I don't know, or le ponen Cristiano, right? Ah, deben ser atlético and stuff like that. Eh, pero si que le ponen un nombre, I don't know, what name could be probably Adolf, you know, like Hitler, <laughs> that would be like very different, right? So that's what it says here. Que nombres populares, okay, they have uh, positive things. And on popular names, they have negative things. Okay, but that's, I guess is, I don't know. Okay, I don't know about names. No sé si, si realmente pega o no las descriptions, right? But in Spanish, it's different. If you say your name is Luis, I don't know if it is if it is positive or negative, right? And then, so that's that depends. You have to look for. There must be a dictionary of names, okay? I was say dictionaries and in internet the nombres, right? Where you can find the meaning, donde se encuentran los significados and characteristics, like the horoscope, right? Similar to the horoscope. But that is a, a belief. Then, in the last paragraph here says, so why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is popular now might become popular in the future. That's good. News for all the Georges and Betty's out there. Okay, so you see, Teacher, they, are, they are tendons. You're freeze. Am I? Yes, can you see me? Yes, okay. Then, and that's what it says. So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? It depends, right? A uh, probably uh, an unpopular name in this moment. Uh, let me see if I can think. ¿Cuál es un nombre no muy común, muy no muy popular? Okay, that. For example, uh, Pedro. Is it popular or unpopular? It's popular. <laughs> Popular. It's popular, right? So then, and that is something that it has uh, uh, sometimes a um, positive way to say it, right? What is a name that is not very popular? Uh, for example, uh, let me think about one. My, Nathanael. Ah, okay. Otoniel. Otoniel, uh -huh, for example, is not very common, right? Eh, Nathan, Nathan, sí, what, is, what was it? Nathan, Nathania, repeat your name again. Nathanael. 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 Nathanael, yes. Where, where does it come from? From the Bible. From the Bible, Jeffrey. yes. Uh -huh, yes, yeah. right. Nathanael. Okay, these are other names. Oh, for example, the name. What do you think about Bernarda? What do you think about now that I see Anna there? Okay, is it popular? Anna, yes. Bernarda, uh -huh. no. 
No, right? It's not popular. No. Right? And that people, and then you have, for example, the one say, in Bernardo for men. Yes, Bernardo is, is popular. Uh huh. But not for women, right? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But sometimes, you see, like in these days, for example, when you say Adriana and Adrian, so probably in the past, they were not very popular, but little by little, cuando van cambiando los años, se van convirtiendo como más populares, right? More people are using them, okay? Jeffrey, Jeffrey teacher. Jeffrey, uh -huh. it's another one Jeffrey. that is not. Okay, little by little is becoming popular. So you see about the names is... Exactly. is in Spanish, no, it's popular. Uh -huh. Exactly. It's not very popular, but there are some here in El Salvador, right? There are some stallings. Okay, so then this is about the name. Sometimes it has to do with eh, likes and dislikes. Tiene que ver con los gustos y las cosas que no le gustan a las personas, right? So it depends. If I like the name for my children, okay? So the, we don't know. We have the name that our parents decided, right? Es... ¿Se cambiarían ustedes el nombre? ¿Alguien? Yes, me. <laughs> no. Ah, ¿Se cambiaría Ana? No, de sexo. No, ah, no. no. <laughs> yo, yo, le cambiaría, yo le cambiaría a Ana, el otro yes. está bien. <laughs> no. It's not common. It's not common. No, I like it. I like Bernard. I, mean, I, I, I like it. I don't know why. I think it sounds more, sounds with, for me, for me, sounds with more personality. Teacher. Okay, that's... But, but that's for me, for other people, maybe not. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Bernardo. My name, Bernardo, is not popular, but my, my, my second name, Antonio, or Tony, is popular. Yes, middle name, uh -huh, your middle name, yes, yes, Antonio Very is popular. popular. Uh -huh. I like my middle name, it's like Antonio Anna. or Tony. Uh -huh. It's similar to Anna, right? Anna is popular, but no Bernardo, right? It's the same case. You have the, the one, right? Okay. No, but you know, I think uh, at the end, we, uh, sometimes this this makes you more probably more singular, right? The names. Uh, a veces esos nombres así nos pueden salvar de problemas legales, right? Oh, well, for example, when yeah. you have a yeah, a mí me ha salvado mi segundo nombre también muchas veces. Okay, because there are a lot of uh, homonyms, right? Homonymous, right? That they call people that have similar names. What is your medium huh? name, teacher? Ah, if I told him, what is your medium name? Is, that's secret. Top secret. <laughs> huh? That's top secret. No, I write it here. Let me see in the chat. <laughs> and I'm going to write it here. See, lo digo no lo Wait. That's my Arthos, Arthos, ah. PH. Mm. Okay, so that's imagine. So it's not it's not very popular, right? It's it's from it's from Greece, Greece, Greece. No, it's it's from a it, it's as similar to one of the three musketeers. Solo que de los tres mosqueteros no lleva la H. Es Portos, Athos y Aramis. Y estaba D'Artagnan, okay? Then this is, it's from France, more or less, right? So this is Arthos. Okay, so then you see it's a very different name. And, but you know, when you see, for example, Luis Avellan, you can find many, many Luis Avellan, right? But when you have Luis Avellan, then this makes the difference, right? So then uh, sometimes it helps, it is good. All right. And your last and your last name, no. Uh huh. My last name too, right? So it's not it's not very popular. Mm -hmm. I think it's in just in, in the Caribbean area. You can find more in Spain. Okay. I have a, a, a uh -huh. last name like a drug. Like what? Drug dealer. <laughs> Escobar. It's <laughs> okay, good. That's no, that's very popular, right? Yes, everybody knows. Everybody will say Escobar, wow, but you say, but no Pablito, right? They say, okay, it's the <laughs> other one. <laughs> okay, okay, Pablo, for example, Pablo is also a very popular name, right? 
Sao Paulo is another one that is very, very popular. Okay, good. Now, no more questions about this? Okay, remember this has, this has to do with uh, some uh, tendencies, popularity of the moment. Uh -huh, Gomez also is not very common. Gomez, Gomez, yes, but Gomez, Gomez is not very popular. Okay, then let's see the, the next one, which is, the, let me see there, the questions. Now the comprehension questions about this, here, it says, read the following articles about names, then check the statements that are true, okay? According to the article, According to this, your name is part of your identity. True or false? Teacher. Yes. Are you cash? Are you cash the first picture? If I what? Are you cash the, the, the first picture for the for the oh no no not yet. Not yet. The items. Okay. How many we have the attendance? 29. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's sure. picture time, okay? This is the, the moment for the picture, the Kodak moment. Okay, so we're gonna have, just let me check your names here. Okay, yes, here we go, the first one. Here in three, one, two, three. Okay, so this is one. Okay, now we're going to take the, the second one. There we go. And the next, the next one with the second screen. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. That's it. Okay, now let's go back. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, so then we have, for example, according to this, your name is part of your identity, yes or no? True or false? True. It's true, true right? True. true. Mm -hmm. Okay, according to the article, right? So our name is very important. People often feel the same way about particular name. It's true. True? Yeah. True. true. Okay. Oh. Oh. Feel the same way about a particular name. Let's see. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. False, False. right? They didn't say anything about that. People are often named after family members. True. 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 Often, True. right? Not always. Often. It's my case. <laughs> it's your case, right? Yes. Which one? Eugenia or Asuncion? Eugenia. 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 Yes. Eugenia. Eugenia. Yeah, Eugenia. Okay. It's coming from my great grandmother. Great grandmother. Mother, uh, yes, my great grandmother have... was uh, Eugenia. My mother is Eugenia. I'm Eugenia, and I have a niece. daughter. It's Eugenia too. Okay. So you have, for example, your grandmother. Four, four generations. Grandmother, mm -hmm. your mother, you, and your niece. My niece. Mm -hmm. Okay, so four generations. Yes. Okay, yes. yes, that's what I was telling you. Huh? This also happens, mm -hmm. right? Yes. These are, you know, like traditions or, mm -hmm. uh, for example, that you have to do it as a heritage, como herencia, right? Heritage too. Mm -hmm. Opinions about names can change. True or false? True. Okay, true. true. Yeah. It's true. Uh -huh, true. Because true. a name true. that in this moment is popular probably after it will be unpopular 
and vice versa. A name that in this moment is unpopular in the future will probably probably be uh, popular. Now let's see mm -hmm. our answers. Okay, congratulations, everybody. Very good. Look, you have a 10. Okay, so we have your name is part of your identity. True. People often feel the same way about particular name. It's true. Okay, and this is boys' names are more popular than girls' names. Okay, not true. They are similar. People are often named after family members. It's true. And opinions about names can change. Okay, yes, that depends, depends on the on the tendency, right? And the history. Okay, very good. Then no questions in this moment. We finish with the with this section. Okay, with the section number one. That has to do with, you know, the yes, no questions, information questions. Remember we had at the beginning, the, we had the conversation to introduce yourself. Then the my, your, his, her, the possessive adjectives. Then we have the questions, infor, uh, information questions or WH question with what, who, where, when, how, why, how much, how many. And then the yes, no questions last night. Okay. And then we also have the yes, no questions and short answers. Okay. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. And then we have the last one which is the comprehension questions about the reading any comments or questions about these topics okay, okay. then we're going to move To the next one. Okay, which is section section two. Okay, what do we have in the section two? The uh, Andrea Giselle. Could you please read this objective here? Sure. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Nice pronunciation. Okay, we have uh, about, we're going to uh, hear the conversation and people talking about jobs. Okay, jobs. Okay, probably what you do, what kind of work you do, the doctors, you know, uh, nurses and all that kind of uh, occupations, right? Now, listen and pay attention to the, to the pronunciation, okay? Hi, everyone. Welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? 
I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. So here you have the question. The first question is where do you work, right? So the place. And they say, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. And then the next question is, what do you do there? Okay. So it's a question a, a specific about the activities that you perform in that place. And then the Andrea says, I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. And then the guy says, oh, wow, how interesting. And then, uh, yes, it's a great job. I love it. He said, and what do you do? Okay, what do you do is, uh, for example, uh, a question that if I ask, when somebody asks you this question is because they want to know what is your uh, activity of work, right? What is your job? Okay, for example, what do you do? I'm an English teacher. What do you do? I am an engineer. What do you do? I'm an architect. What do you do? I am a nurse. I'm a doctor, okay? What do you do? I'm a student, okay? What I do, I am an entrepreneur, okay? Uh, what do you do? I am a businessman, a businesswoman, a salesman, a saleswoman, okay? So any activity that we do for work, okay? So that would be, what do you do? In this case, is I'm a student, but the guy has a part-time job, okay? Part-time is half of the time working four hours, right? But you don't say half in English, you say part-time, part-time job. And then, oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant, okay? And then say, which restaurant? More specific, right? From the group of restaurants, which one? Hamburger Heaven. Okay? Questions about vocabulary, phrases, pronunciation how how interesting is not a question no no it's an exclamation uh-huh how interesting yes it's an exclamation how interesting yes okay so that's that's very interesting how interesting in this case how would be like que, right how. in the interpretation into spanish right how interesting it's like, for example, you can say, how nice. For example, you know, uh, I got a new job. I got a new job at a, let's say, at the, at the airport. Then you say, hey, how nice. Okay. Then you say, how nice. Que chivo, right? Something like that. It will sound something like informal way to say it. All right. All right. Good. Any other question or comment? No? No. Okay. Oh, teacher. All right, good. So then uh, let's continue and check more vocabulary about jobs. Because In the next one we have, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Okay, what's the simple present? For the simple present, it is important to, okay, it is important to understand two things. Okay, two things. What are those two things that we need to know? The first is when. When we use the simple present. In what moment, in what situation do we have to use it? 
So and we use the simple present in uh, when we express, when we express, for example, uh, daily routines, okay? For example, I eat breakfast every day in present, right? We don't say in past, I ate breakfast every day. Now you don't eat, okay? So say I eat breakfast every day. I take a shower every week, okay? Or every two weeks or sometimes, okay? So, but you, mm -hmm. you say, but it's, it's, a, it's a routine, right? <laughs> not every day, but you do it. No, no, it's every day, right? So I take a shower every day. I go to work every day, okay? Except Sundays. I, what else? What else do we do? I drive every day. I ride a motorcycle every day. I take the bus every day, okay? So when we express, when we express, What's your microphones? Okay. Uh, for example, when uh, activities that we do every day, when we say, for example, I play soccer every Saturday or for me every day, every week or every month, okay? Routines. And that's the first one. The second one is to express facts, okay? What is a fact? Unicho. Exactly, right? Fact is in the in the chat, right? When we use facts, for example, we can say the world is round. Okay, the world is round. Okay, el mundo redondo, right? Then you cannot uh, grammatically. Podría ser correcto gramaticalmente que digan the world was round. Okay, es correcto decirlo, pero Eh, cambiamos la realidad, right? Lo que decimos que el mundo era redondo, entonces ahora, ¿qué es? Right? So then the correct form to say it is the world is round. A menos que digamos que es cuadrado. ¿eh? Okay, but then it's not true. Well, and then you say the world is round is a fact. Eh, another one is, for example, animals kill only for food. It's a fact. Animals kill only for food. Okay, ningún animal que tenga, que esté bien alimentado, mata, right? A menos que sea una defensa o algo, right? That is, if you attack. But animals, the instinct of the animals is to kill when they are hungry for food, okay? Another one is the high blood pressure. Que produce la high blood pressure? Oh, for example, hypertension. Hypertension, correct, right? Then you can say high blood pressure, uh, pressure produces hypertension. Or stress. What does the stress produce? For example, you can say stress produces high blood pressure. Sometimes uh, it can be a diabetes. Huh? Yes, we have he headache. Headaches too. Exactly. You know, when you have a stress, uh, the stress produces, you know, headaches, right? So these are some uh, facts, things that will be effects. So in that case, you use also the, the simple present, right? To express facts, to express routines, and also to express the frequency. Okay, how often we do things. Okay, how often do uh, we do things is like, for example, when uh, I usually go to the beach on Saturdays or I never go to the beach uh, in, uh, in the rainy, during the rainy season. Okay, I, I, uh, let's say I, take my, I usually take my breakfast at 6.30 a.m. Okay, I never take a, let's say a dinner at 6 p.m. Okay, so these are, you know, the frequency also you are going to use the simple present. Okay, so these are, you know, three moments in which is important to know that we have to use the simple present. Now let's see the, the video. 
and listen to other examples and more explanations. And after that, if you have questions, please let me know. Okay, here's a simple present, WH questions and statements. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH Questions and Statements What do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you, work, he, she, works. I, you, take, he, she, takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus a subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. When talking on third person singular. Okay, and these are the questions, right? That we have, what do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? And if it is for the third person, you can say, where does Andrea or Andrea work? What does she do? How does she like it? So this is, how does she like it? It's like, what's her opinion, right? And say, she loves it, okay? She loves it. That means that she likes it very, very much. Okay, questions about this structure of the question? Teacher, for third person verbs, uh, a verb uh, used in a third person like he and she and it, we add the S letter to the verb. Uh, not all, uh, yes, but no always, right? If you see here, for example, words with the letter S, take, takes is the letter S. But here studies, the Y changes to I, yes. 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 Uh -huh. Do, yes. O, yes. And have is irregular. Have, has. This one is an irregular verb. Okay, have, has. So it's not only, on, it's not only the S, yes, right? There are some, there are some rules. Okay, to write uh, the third person. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send you the, the rules in the WhatsApp group later, okay? For you to, to have them, okay? But uh, there are some specific rules. And the rules that you use in the, uh, the rules that we use in the third person are the same rules that we use for plurals, okay? For example, uh, what is the plural of toy? 
Toys. Toys. Ajá. Ok. Por ejemplo, you have toy. And the plural is toys. Toys. Ok, you have boy. Toys. Boys. 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 Ok, so you have here boys. Boys is the same. But, and then you have the bear play. Okay. See, for example, vowel Y, vowel Y. What is the third person for play? Play. Place. Okay. These are nouns. Estos son nouns, sustantivos. And these are verbs. Verb. Entonces, son las mismas reglas. For example, eh, let me see, party. Party es verbo o sustantivo? Noun. Son las dos. Noun. De hecho, de hecho las dos depende del contexto, pero vamos a usarlo como sustantivo, right? Noun. Una fiesta, right? And, ¿qué es carry? Llevar. Ver, ver, Llevar. Ver, ver, ver. Ok, si ven acá, verb. Es un verbo que termina en Y, pero está precedido una, de una consonante. Aquí es Y, precedido de vocal. Entonces aquí tenemos parties. Parties. Par par ok, y aquí par tenemos... Is, is the plural. El plural, ajá. Teacher, par is, teacher okay. par is, is the plural. Yes, ajá. Ok, and verb here. Third person. Ok, cuando es el verbo, estamos hablando de tercera persona. Third person, ajá. Y cuando hablamos de nouns, en sustantivos, hablamos de plural. Ok. Plural nouns. Ok. So then party, parties, plural. Okay, the, the plural form. And when we talk about the verb, we say carry. Pero si ven, la regla de la escritura para cambiar a plural o a tercera persona es la misma. Okay. Entonces, les voy a enviar las eh, eh, más tardecito o, o mañana por la mañana les envío un documento con, con las reglas para que las tengan. Hay muchas, pero voy a mandar las principales, right? Para que vean que son... Hoy en la noche me voy a agregar al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, yes. Exacto, entonces lo mando en la mañana entonces para que lo tengan todos. Ok, good. So then, but this is for example for you to have an idea que no todo, no siempre se agrega la S, right? En algunas veces sí, en otras veces no. Hay reglas. Ok. For example, child. Ese, ese child es un sustantivo, pero este digamos que es irregular. Aquí no habría child and children. Pero este no es verbo, right? Entonces aquí tenemos uh -huh. child, children. Pero también, si ven, hay verbos irregulares en inglés. Por ejemplo, tenemos has. have, has, hey. que es la tercera persona, que sería como el singular, y have, que sería el plural. O sea, no son las mismas reglas, pero sí existen, right? Verbos eh, irregulares, digamos, y también hay sustantivos irregulares que no se les agrega una S. Y entra child, children, woman, women, man, men, eh, wife, wives, y así encontramos otras palabras que son irregulares. ¿Ok? Se salen de la regla. Y lo mismo en los verbos, right? We have have, has. ¿Ok? Food, fit. Food. Fit, ese está en los sustantivos, como este, foot, feet. Foot and feet. Ok, that would be in the plural nouns. Ok. So then, uh, let me see, we have, well, no, we don't have much, too much time for, for practice. But then, what we're going to do is this, a uh, practice... Uh, you're going to practice the questions for, for tomorrow, right? And I'm going to take the second picture in this moment. 
the second shot. Uh, just let me go to the first screen. And tomorrow we're going to work in groups in the breakout breakout rooms to practice the questions and information questions and yes, no questions, okay? Uh, for example, uh, you're going to ask questions, uh, where do you work? Where does your sister work? Where does your father work? And we can uh, invent, right, the, the answers. It doesn't have to be true. For example, you can say, where does your sister work? Oh, my sister works uh, at the American Embassy. Okay, no importa si es cierto o no, right? The important thing is to practice vocabulary, okay? Uh, practice vocabulary and practice the, the, the structure, the structure in, in the question and in the answer. For example, you can say, Adriana Guadalupe, is your father a doctor? Hello, Adriana? Yes. I'm here. Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, is your father a doctor, Adriana? Yes, he is or no, he isn't? No, he isn't. Okay, no, he isn't, right? Good. Then, Herman, is your brother, is your brother a football player? Say yes. No, he isn't. Say no, yes. no, he isn't. Say yes, just to invent. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, ahora sígame la corriente, right? <laughs> yes, he is. And where, where does he play? Where does he play? Studying? He plays, uh, he plays he play. in Real Madrid, he plays in Barcelona, uh, he plays in, I don't know, okay. uh, he plays in uh, Once Deportivo, he plays in whatever, right? So then you can continue with that question. The idea is, uh, with, I mean, you don't have to give true information. A veces porque nos limitamos a la eh, información personal, Eh, nos limitamos con vocabulario, right? But if you, for example, eh, use your creativity, for example, eh, to answer questions, then you can practice more vocabulary, right? For example, okay. suppose eh, Ana, uh, Ana, is your, well, Ana Bernarda, because you know there are many, I have many Anas in this group. Eh, okay. Ana, eh, is, um, is your sister a tennis player, a professional tennis player? Say yes. I invent. Yes, I invent. yes. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, yes. It's a great, <laughs> a tennis. great uh, a tennis player. Excellent. Okay. Where does she play? And which, uh, let's say, uh, in which uh, country does she play? Uh, in the U.S. Okay. In, in New York. In New, in York. New York. Okay. And how many championships? Okay, uh, they say, um, has she participated in how, in how many championships does she participate a year? Ahí sí me perdí. How, in, in how many, in how many champions or tournaments does she participate in one year? One or two? Uh, in, in three champions. In three championships. Okay, good. And then you can say how much money? How much money does she make? Millions of dollars. <laughs> Millions of dollars. <laughs> okay. But you see, this is, I mean, when you are using, at the beginning, probably it's a little bit difficult to, to do it, but you are forcing, you are pushing your brain to think in English, right? So the, the intention of this exercise is that you can, uh, for example, you know, create your own, uh, let's say, uh, vocabulary. Because sometimes we have vocabulary, but we don't practice it. Right? For example, we said uh, Hilda. Hilda Milagro, right? Uh, where does your 
Where does your mother work? She works, uh, I don't know, how do you say that? Um, she's a secretary at okay. Regional de Salud. At uh, what? Uh, health, Regional health, de Salud. Health, uh, health, probably to be health office re in a regional, regional health office. Okay, regional health. Of health office. Office, okay. Okay, all right, good. So then there where that's where your mother work. Uh, and she's is she a secretary? Yes, she is a secretary. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, you see this is wait, I have a mosquito here, you know, trying to learn English. Um then uh, Fidel, where does your uh, let's say where does your brother work? Well, I have a sister. Okay, good. She works she works uh, tell us, tell us, tell us. Okay, very good. For example, this is you see. For this is good because when this is a natural, a spontaneous conversation. Okay, where does your yes. brother work? Well, I have a sister. Okay, immediately change the 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 topic and say okay, and she works at. Excellent. Okay, so this is communication, and this is the 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 intention of the exercise, right? So tomorrow we are going to practice these questions, okay? Just no questions, information questions about third person and about uh, about you, for example, where do you work? Where do you live? For example, where do you live? Well, in this moment I live in Miami, but I am visiting my family here in El Salvador. No problem, okay? You can say that. Because uh, as I told you, it doesn't have to be true, okay? No tenemos que hacerlo real para que practiquemos más vocabulario, okay? Then in that case, you know, you, or for example, you say, well, uh, you, I'm buying a house in Miami or whatever. I can use different yes. different ideas. You can. Okay. Eh, vamos a crear nuestro propio mundo aquí de fantasía. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so my house, no problem. Okay. The idea, no, but the idea is to practice vocabulary. Okay. So practice vocabulary for tomorrow. And that's the activity that we will have. Okay. So have a very good night. Have a good night. Hey. We don't have more Bye. time for today. So thank you, teacher. Good night, good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.